Good morning, Beverly. It's Friday, June 3rd. I really enjoyed your video this week. It was super informative. I didn't know about the Comrades Marathon before, but I bet it's a mind-blowing experience for both the runners and the audiences. For me, the most interesting part about your video is that your grandpa actually won the race in 1965. That's like super cool because I don't think I can even make it to an hour. To be honest. As I had planned, I finished teaching on the last day of May since I didn't want to work through the summer. The last day was not easy. I always hate the ending of things, the ending of a job, the ending of a relationship, the ending of a school year. Those moments suck. But I guess they are hints for an unsucking future. For the farewell party with my adults class, we went to a restaurant on a small island that I have never been to before. The restaurant provided free boat rides back and forth from the mainland, so it was very convenient and we were all so excited. My class did not end because I left though. I found another teacher to replace my position. Sadly, I haven't heard a lot of good things so far about her teaching techniques. I hope that things would get better soon because otherwise I would feel so guilty for taking off for the summer. A friend of mine just came back home from Towson University from Maryland. Does the school sound familiar to you at all? Anyway, my friend lives in this one international neighborhood where it's full of foreigners and restaurants from different countries in the world. So we decided we should go out for dinner at one of those restaurants. We ended up eating in this one restaurant called Little Arminia and the reason was that my friends mistook Little Arminia for Little America. That's an honest mistake right here. I explained to her that Arminia is actually a country but since we are young, stupid and adventurous, we went in anyway. Unsurprisingly, we were the only two Asians in the entire restaurant. So we asked the waiter to show us some popular food from Armenia, and he did, but we still didn't have a clue. So we just ordered a couple things that we didn't even know what they were. Take a look at these Armenian food and drinks. Don't they look good? Well, they might look good, but they sure don't taste good. Sorry Armenia, the food was quite terrible. I almost threw up after a couple bites in. After a while of trying to make it look like we actually enjoyed touching the food, I and my friends got the heck out of the place. Now I'm sure that it's just that we're not used to eating those types of food, and maybe the restaurant did not really make good authentic dishes, but truth to be told that my first impression with the Armenian food was not quite positive. You know what, I have just realized that I have been home for a year already since I left the US in June last year. I am really looking forward to be back in the US or in Alabama to be Pacific. And Beth, maybe you should take a trip down south when you have time. Don't forget to be awesome and I will see you on Tuesday.